Now in this video, I've got the PNPS8550 transistor LED dimmer circuit. Now in the base of the transistor, I've got a 216K ohm resistor. On the collector, I've got a 500 ohm resistor. I've got a switch across the base. And I've got a red 2 volt LED across CE. And I've got a 6 volt source across the front of the entire transistor. Now, at this time, the transistor is off because the switch is open. Which means that the current is going through the volt source and through the LED and through the 500 ohm resistor and back through the volt source. The voltage across the LED is about 2 volts. This is with the transistor off. The voltage across the resistor, the 500 ohm resistor, is 4 volts. The current through the resistor and therefore through the diode is 8 milliamps. And the voltage across the diode is about 1.9 volts. Now, this is when the diode is at its maximum brightness. Now I'm going to close the switch. Okay, now that the switch is closed, that means that the transistor is on. The voltage across the 500 ohm resistor is now 4.31 volts. The current through the resistor and therefore the current through the diode Well, actually, the current through the resistor will be split between the diode and the transistor for a total current of 8.63 milliamps. The voltage across the diode right now is 1.71 volts. Now when you close this switch, you're going to notice that the light output of the diode dims. It's going to be a very noticeable dim. And the reason for that is that this 216K ohm resistor drives the transistor towards cutoff. Which means that there is less current actually going through the diode 
and therefore you have a smaller voltage. The voltage when the transistor was off across the diode, across the diode was 1.9 volts. But now that the transistor is on, there is less current flowing through the diode. Therefore, you have a smaller voltage across the diode. The total current going through the resistor is 8.63 milliamps. But that 8.63 milliamps is split between the transistor and the diode. And the total 8.63 milliamps comes out at the emitter. Actually, the current flow goes from the volt source Some current will flow through the diode. Some current will flow through the emitter and through the base. And the rest of the current will be flowing through the 500 ohm resistor. And this brings me to the end of the video. Subscribe, like, and share. Subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for your attention.